Welcome to the West Chicago Public Library District's ebook tutorial. On this clip, I will be explaining how to download an MP3 audiobook to your Mac and then transferring it to your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. For this tutorial, you will need an iPhone, iPad, or iPod, and your West Chicago Library card. The first thing that we're going to do is go to the library website. The address is www.westchicago.lib.il.us. On the main page, scroll down to the bottom corner where it says My Media Mall and click on it. You will be brought to the My Media Mall website page. Before we sign in and get a book, we need to download Overdrive Media Console onto our computer so that we can listen to the audio. Click on Help in the top right-hand corner. Scroll down to where it says Software on the next page. We're going to click on this link, which will bring us to the page to download Overdrive Media Console. After clicking Software, you will be brought to this page. Click on the Overdrive Media Console, the blue icon at the top. This is what we need to download to the computer. After clicking on the Overdrive Media Console icon, this is the next page we will see. On the right-hand corner, select the radio button Mac, and then underneath, click Download Now. You will need to double-click on the Download in your Download tab in order to open the device on your desktop. Once it opens, click Continue and follow the installation directions. You will be asked if you agree to the terms of use. You will also be asked to officially install Overdrive Media Console to your computer. If you agree and wish to install Overdrive Media Console, click Agree and then click Install when prompted. Follow the, follow the directions to continue to install Overdrive Media Console onto your computer. Once the installation is completed, you will receive this message. Now that we have Overdrive Media Console successfully downloaded onto the computer, we can go back to the My Media Mall website found at the West Chicago Public Library District website. From here we will be able to download an audiobook. Go to the top right hand corner and click Sign In. On the next page, you will be asked to select a library. Start typing West Chicago Public Library District. After selecting a library, you will be asked to type in your library card number, the really long number underneath the barcode on the back of your library card. You will be also asked for your PIN number, which is either your own secret password, or if you haven't changed it, it is simply change me, all lowercases and no spaces. Once you are signed in, this is what the screen will look like. You can select a book based on its genre, or you can search in the search tab at the top right hand corner. For the purpose of this tutorial, you can select a genre from the audiobook selection. The next screen will show you the books in that particular genre that you selected. On the left hand side, you can limit books by its format, language, ratings, and other choices. Because we are using an Apple product, we can only select MP3 files. Let's choose the MP3 on the left-hand side so that we are only shown that format. Once we have limited our options to just MP3 files, this is what the next screen will look like. If you notice at the top, you can select only Available Now so that you can see titles that are currently available for checkout. You can tell that a book is available for checkout by seeing the dark headphones in the corner. Click on a title once you see one that you like. Once you have selected a title, this is what the next screen will look like. You can see on the side panel what kind of formats the title is available in, as well as how many other copies are available. Click on the Borrow tab in the center of the screen. Once you click on the Borrow tab, the tab will change to Go to Bookshelf. Click on the tab Go to Bookshelf. 
On the next screen, you will see your bookshelf. You can check out a total of five books. If you change your mind about this title, you can simply click Return before checking it out. You can also click on Settings on the right-hand column to alter your checkout period. Right now, click on Select One right next to the book title. Remember, you can only use MP3 audio for Apple products, so select MP3. Then click Confirm, stating that once you select this format, you cannot download this title in any other format. The title will begin downloading. You may need to double-click on it on the download icon on your computer. After double-clicking on the download icon, click Open on this screen. At this point, you want to make sure that you have your device plugged into your computer. After clicking Open, this is the screen that you will see. Click OK and the title will begin downloading audio onto your OverDrive Media Console. Once the title has finished downloading onto your computer, your screen will look like this. Click OK. After the title has downloaded, it will open in your OverDrive Media Console. This is what your OverDrive Media Console will look like. Click on the title that you would like to transfer to a device, and then select the Transfer button at the top of the screen. This is the next screen that you will see. In order to transfer the audio to a device, select the player that you wish to download the audio to, and then select the parts of the book that you wish to be downloaded. Most likely you're going to want to download the entire book. When you're ready, click Next. Once you've clicked Next, you may get a message that says you need to manually manage the music and videos. If you get this message, simply open up your iTunes and look under Device Summary. From there, you can check the box that states Manually Manage the Music and Videos. Then you can continue your download. Once you've done that, you can go back to the OverDrive Media Console Transfer Wizard and click Transfer again. Select the player and sections of the audiobook that you want downloaded. Click Next and continue through the steps. You will receive this message when it has been successfully downloaded. Simply click Finish and safely unplug your device from your computer. You will find the audiobook in the music section of your device.